The stablecoin DAI has trouble holding its one-to-one -one peg to the dollar and that makes people suspicious into does the actual maker DAO model work? Can we actually create a stable coin from nothing? How does that work? And in this video, I thought I would dive, dive a bit deeper into uh, what makes the DAI lose uh, to its peg? What makes the DAI less valuable than its peg? Because according to maker themselves, maker DAO, this should not be possible. There should be incentives in place to uh, prevent this from happening. And I'm going to talk about what, why I think the... Uh, the value of DAI is lower than one dollar and has been for uh, well it has gone up and down obviously but for a lot a lot of time it has been below one dollar and i'm going to share my thoughts i'm also going to share what i think maker can do in order to improve this so if you don't know what maker is yet or how it works i would suggest you look it up on youtube or yeah, you could perhaps look at my good friend Ivan on text video where he explained Maker because it is a special stable coin. It doesn't rely upon having dollars in the bank. Instead, on, instead, instead it relies on uh, these loans made in DAI and the uh, incentives to open and close those loans. Uh, but if you haven't looked at that yet or how it works, do that because it is a fascinating, uh, fascinating system. But I thought I would uh, uh, make some... Uh, draw a little bit here since everyone loves when i draw so i thought i would do that and try to explain what is going wrong in the maker model so what are the uh, what what is happening with maker well first of all let's uh, see what's going on here we have maker right and people put in uh, ether and they lock up ether in maker and from the maker smart contract they get die back and this is the stable coin in question it is die so they get die back right and they lock in Ether uh, into the maker smart contract. And then, of course, with the promise that they can... Uh, wow, that is the most beautiful painting I've ever done, actually. That uh, came out quite nice. And the spine is even almost uh, connected to the legs. Uh, either way, um, they put in Ether to get die back. And uh, they can then later on hand back their die and get their Ether back. And then they pay a, um, a fee. So they pay what's called a stability fee when they pay back. So this is one side to it. You pay in Ether and you get die back. The other uh, side of this is that you put in, uh, oops, that's crooked. You put in die and you get Ether back. You, you know, you pay back your loan because this is a loan and it's called a, uh, it's called a CDP, a collateralized, collateralized debt position. So it's like a loan. So you loan them Ether and back, you get um, a USD stable coin. And the other side of this is that you, uh, put die in and you get maker you put die in and you get ether back and that in by doing that you pay back your loan and there is an interest rate to this um, that's called a stability fee and previously i think it was one percent now it is 3.5 percent because they are trying to stabilize the system and i'll explain how this uh, comes in later on and uh, the problem is that these people that actually put in their ether and get die back they loan die the problem is that what they are doing with their DAI, most of them, is that they're going out into the market. So they're going out into the market and they sell their DAI. They sell their DAI to the market. And for example, they might buy, they might buy back more Ether. And this gives, gives them leverage towards Ether. So they now have a leveraged Ethereum position because they still own this Ether even though it is locked in the maker contract. So they sell DAI to the market and this creates a, of course, selling pressure of the DAI on the, on the market. And the, the problem is when this creates a selling pressure, the uh, price of DAI goes down on the market. Uh, price is down. What then is supposed to happen is that the same people that already has loans on Maker, they should want to go to the market once again and uh, buy die in the market so they buy die from the market with ethereum for example and then you have this person here and it's the big brother buying die and putting die back into maker and getting their ethereum back and this in theory works very well uh, because then you have this balance of people selling down the market and buying die on the market and then this should of course cause the price to go up again the issue is that this side right here 
is uh, bigger. There are more people doing this. In, this is of course a simplification, but my general concept is that there are more people actually generating DAI because it's a generation of DAI that is occurring. Not that, you know, in a traditional bank you would take the DAI from someone else and make a loan that way. DAI is here generated and then it's sold on the market. And not enough people are taking their uh, DAI, or sorry, taking their Ether and buying back DAI and putting it back in. And this creates a larger selling pressure. Now, what Maker has been doing is that they have increased the stability fee from one, uh, I think it was 1%, to now 3.5%. And that is the interest that people pay on their loans. The problem with that, and this probably, this has had positive effects on DAI because it has, you know, increased and it has been spiked. Uh, it has spiked the die price when they have done this, but we're still from time to time or the trend is still that the die price is below one dollar, which it is supposed to be pegged to. So now they've increased the stability fee a lot. They've increased the interest fee a lot. The problem is that you pay the interest when you hand back your die, when you close your position, that is when you pay your interest. And many people are instead of paying interest, paying, uh, paying attention to this, instead just thinking of, hey, I'm buying Ether at this low price of, what is it, $150? And I'm, I'm leveraging that position. And that means, you know, if I buy Ether for, you know, $10,000 in two years time or in one year time, Ether is going to blow up. It's going to be $1,000. Then 3.5 interest doesn't matter, right? I, I'm just going to huddle Ether and make mad gains. And, you know, I'm not saying that is the case. Definitely not. It's not the financial advice. I'm just, you know, getting into the mind of this guy right here. Uh, because this is a hodl man, oops, a hodl man, right? Uh, and uh, they would rather hold on to ether than putting back their uh, their uh, their die and closing their leverage position. And that is a problem for maker. So how are they actually going to solve this? Will, will they have to rise to 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 rise the to raise the stability fee even more? Do they have to raise it to five percent? To 10%. What is going to happen? You know, that is unclear. Uh, I don't think this has as large of an effect as they want it to have, even though I do think it has an effect. Um, so, what can they do? Well, what I think they have to do is they need to explore more reasons for people to actually hold the DAI. Because what people are doing now is they generate DAI and then they sell it on the market. They need to find areas where people want to generate DAI and then not sell it to use it on the market and I know that they are working on this so it's not like it's something shocking they are working on uh, for example having betting markets with Augur where you can use DAI and it's coming then people would uh, use their DAI and lock their DAI in um, in other projects and and that will probably help if people actually want to use that project or those projects at all uh, but if DAI only is there to provide leverage for traders to you know have leverage on their ethereum then this problem is going to continue because people are more interested in making gains on ethereum than paying back and closing their leverage position but if they can find areas where people want to use die and hold die then the selling pressure in the market disappear and uh, they could also as i said raise the interest rates that would lead to less loans being opened and more people paying back their loans so uh, yeah they have multiple ways to go but I think to work on the general ecosystem is the good, the right way to go. And if you're holding DAI or, you know, having these positions, always be careful because uh, you never know what's happening. And um, these projects are experimental, but I do still enjoy the, uh, the maker project. I'm not involved in it, but I do think they are doing interesting things for this ecosystem. But let me know what you think. Do you think that we need stable coins in this ecosystem? Do you think that you can actually have a stable coin without having dollars in the bank? I want to hear from you in the comment section below. We can discuss. Uh, with that being said, thank you so much for watching and hit the like button if you enjoyed the video, the dislike and if you didn't, the dislike button if you didn't. And oh, either way, get subscribed to the channel, of course, and uh, hit that bell button. I appreciate every single one of you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.